Oh, doing some more wiring. So I'm going from that little tiny wire to that. Uh, not really going to make that big of a difference, but we're going to do it anyways. It's just a piece of scrap zero gauge I got from a car audio shop. They actually gave me this uh, and the uh, ends there. So shout out to John Stereo for that. <laughs> and uh, we've got a four gauge T-Spec kit. And we have a 100 amp fuse in there. Uh, I don't know. Just uh, yeah, It goes straight to the ground. We'll uh, be protected. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we got a two gauge ground running from here to the body. Still need to run one from there to the engine block, but uh, haven't got that far yet. Been working on the 83s wiring, and uh, we're still have a hood on it, so hood in water. But uh, four gauge ground grounds straight to the head, so it grounds the body. So uh, the uh, battery ground and the body ground are direct, in, uh, uh, not body, but engine ground are directly connected close here and makes contact with the body at the same time. So uh, we have a unlikely possibility that uh, we'll lose ground anywhere. Uh, and this fire is just a four gauge with a copper terminal run out of the, uh, cup, the covers. So I just got some electrical tape on it. <clears throat> Go that some dielectric grease so it doesn't corrode before the car is on the road. Which hopefully won't be that long. But well, you know how project cars go, don't we? So uh one thing I can do is cut it from here and then uh, unbolt it from the back of the uh, alternator. But I'm gonna unbolt it first and make sure that this isn't too big. And it's not like just flopping around the nut balls right through it or something like that because I don't want to have to go get to digging out washers or something for that so see what we get looks like it's gonna work out pretty good I'm just gonna tighten it up with it just uh, up off of this piece of steel here just so that vibrations doesn't wear a hole through the insulation and cause a huh, really bad short that's easy two minutes I had more time putting the uh, terminals on the end of the wire than I did have installing it <clears throat> so got to route it down there it just tucks up close right there it's a loose position uh, like I said it's not touching anything really except for down here and then wraps up around to the battery so not bad uh, I was thinking maybe at some point taking this to here like I did the ground, but uh, I don't know. This I like right now. So yeah, here's what we took off again. A little, little tiny wire. Yeah, that's a big difference. Now obviously, we'll save that for something else. But also, uh, that alternator is just a factory replacement, but uh, this is going to help, probably. So we also need to do that ground block, like I said, uh, and we'll have this stuff best it can be at the moment without upgrading alternator and stuff like that, which we don't need to do. Uh, we're not even pushing a whole lot of power, obviously. But, uh, do things right the first time so you don't have to do them again. Spend the money now or later. Spend it later, you spend more. So, uh, that's why I'm going through all this. Obviously, my amp will get upgraded. The box is going to get upgraded. And eventually, the subs will also get upgraded. But at least I know the car is ready for it. So, I'm going to cut the video here. A uh, quick short video for you guys. Um... Let me know down in the comments if you guys like this car audio stuff. Uh, what you want to see next if you do. If you don't, also let me know. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.